If you're like me and use Confluence, there is one challenge you probably run into. Where is one spot everyone knows to go to find information that is useful to them? You might do something like have a space called Employee Central or Employee Hub and hope everyone remembers it's there. But I bet a lot of folks have trouble finding things in Confluence. Luckily, a new beta feature called Company Hub has been released for premium and enterprise customers that can help solve for this. So here, we're going to dig into what the Company Hub is, how it can be useful to you, and different ways it can be used. Let's jump in. At its core, the Company Hub is just a universally accessible space that everyone sees up in their navbar. This means that anyone who accesses your Confluence instance would see the Company Hub link in the top left. Now you might call it something different, Employee Central for example, but that link will always be up in the top left. So if anyone is lost or doesn't know where to go, they can just click on that and go to a centralized spot where you can control what information is displayed and direct them to where they need to go. Now this is a beta feature, so it's very likely to change. And right now it's only available to Confluence Cloud Premium and Enterprise subscribers. So sorry to all those folks out there on Data Center or Confluence Free or Standard. So now that we know what it is and where to find it, you might be asking, what does it do? It functions very similar to a page in that it's just a piece of content where we can add information. We have access to all of the rich editing tools that any page or blog post has, including things like sections, macros, bolding, headers, and more. And with this deployment, there's actually two additional features that have come out, two new macros that we can use, the cards macro and the carousel macro. We'll dig into these in just a minute so you can see what they do. But they are different ways to display information on your company hub. They make it look a little bit more visually attractive, and removes the need, in some cases, to use an add-on like Aura to improve how your space looks and feels. And the great news is, those macros are available elsewhere as well. They're not constricted just to the company hub. The company hub can also be renamed, so if you want to name it after your company or something else that makes sense for your team, you can certainly do that. And it has its own set of security permissions. These will look and feel very, very similar to a space so you can prevent or allow groups of individuals to access the company hub. Now there's a few use cases that immediately jump to mind for me. The biggest one is a single spot workers at your company can go to get direction to other information. Imagine a new hire joins your company. You could tell them just click on the company hub link and they can go there to find information about support or benefits or orientation or any other topic that they need to find information about. This reduces friction because they know exactly where to go. They don't have to dig around in spaces and remember what it was called. I can also think of other use cases though. For example, if you only want to expose this to company employees instead of contractors, you could restrict it and have information just for employees. Now this does run into a few of the limitations which I'll speak to in a minute, but keep in mind Company Hub is intended to be the one spot everyone can go to find information about things like events or support information or benefits. Now there are some limitations to the Hub. It is in beta and this could mean it might change drastically or even Confluence could decide not to deploy the feature and we lose it. Um, I don't think it's likely they wouldn't deploy it, but it will definitely look different as it evolves and grows. It is also only available to cloud premium and enterprise customers. So unfortunately, if you're on data center or standard or free, you're just out of luck. You won't be able to leverage the feature. And like everything in Confluence or any of our systems, it does require maintenance. If we tell all of our workers to go here to find up-to-date information and they discover it's not all up-to-date, that won't be a very good experience for them. So if you're considering using the hub, I highly recommend making sure someone owns it and reviews it every week or month to make sure that the information there is fresh and ready to go. And here we are on the company hub. I have made some modifications to this, not too many, so it does look like the standard default one you get. But here we can see I'm using it to share things like announcements. And this is one of those new macros I mentioned, the carousel. It can support up to three of these items. And as I click on them, information will be updated. 
and we'll dig into editing these in a minute so you can see the settings. But this is much more visually pleasing than having a number of columns or links out to other places because folks can come and just click on the icons and get information immediately. And these can also link out to other pages or resources so someone doesn't have to go far to find more information. Underneath this, I have another section about employee shoutouts. Maybe there are specific team members I want to highlight or someone's achievement or a team that I want to call out. I also have information on different resources. If you're a new hire, you can click here and that will open up our new hire hub. Or I have a support link. If people have to put in some kind of ticket, maybe I take them to our JIRA support center. And benefits and policies. This macro is a card and we can see here at the bottom, it can be both bigger but also smaller. So if I have some quick links I wanna put way down at the bottom, they're easily accessible for folks. And again, these macros, the cards and carousel, are available everywhere in Confluence or another beta feature that's been added for premium and enterprise. So now that we know what it looks like, let's jump in and edit it. It does look a little bit different than another page or resource. The edit pencil is the only thing at the top. Once I click it, however, we'll see that I have basically the same edit options that I have for a page or a blog. One thing to note is there is no hierarchy. While this does look and feel like a page or a space, it's just a single page. So I can come in here and update the header image. And one thing I will call out is this integration with Unsplash. So this is another improvement where I can come through and search for images that I might want to use for my header. I'll type in people and maybe I like this image and it instantly updates my header. Now, prior to this feature, I'd have to go and find these images and upload them. But now that they're just integrated directly in here, it makes it very easy to make this page much more visually interesting. Scrolling down, I have my carousel. Again, one of the new macros, I'll click edit. And here I can see I can add a link. So each one of these little icons can have its own link out somewhere. I can change the title and add a description. And again, I have Unsplash. I can find a nice icon for it. To me, this is a great step forward because Vanilla Confluence or Stock Confluence doesn't have many options for making pages visually interesting. We're kind of stuck with it standard editor. These carousels support up to three different icons. And whichever one at the top will be my default. So when someone loads the page, it starts with announcements. So one way to use this would be to have something everyone should always see, latest company announcements at the top, and then swap out the other two as more things come up in the company. Scrolling down, I have my cards, and I'll use this one for resources. I'll just click configure and edit. And this looks very similar to the carousel. There's a few different options I have. I can change the size of the cards, so small, medium, or large. And I can change their alignment, how they appear. And this will just mostly change the icons. If it is linked out to a Confluence page, I can also show when that page was last updated. So here I can see my new hire link was updated three days ago by this person. And I can show the owner or hide it. This can be a great thing to add so folks understand how fresh is this content. Or who do I have to go hunt down if I need more information? And then under that, I have a very similar screen to the carousel, a title, a description, a link, and the ability to add images right in from Unsplash. As I need to, I can just click the delete icon to get rid of that card, and then click add to put in a new one. And we can see I can keep adding them to make an array of cards if I have enough things. There are a few more things I can do in the hub. If I go to more actions, I can do things like preview it or view recent changes, but I can also change the name. So here I can call it something else. Maybe I want to call this employee central or some other fun name that my team might appreciate. And then that link in the top left gets updated right away. I can also come in here and look at the hub permissions. Now this will look very similar to a space. What I think the Elastian team did is just essentially copy in a space. And so from here I can control it the same way I could my personal space or my team space. I'll likely want to go to groups when I'm managing this and take a look and see what groups have access to administer my company hub and then add because that add permission is what's going to let me edit it. So I might allow my entire company to view it. They have view all, but only say my human resources or people team, the ability to add, edit it. Going back to more actions, I can also deactivate the hub. 
Clicking on this will turn it off and get rid of that link in the top left. So if my company has decided, hey, we don't want to use the hub, that's completely okay. I can flip it off using deactivate hub. So that is the company hub. I'm really excited to see this feature. I think it will help a lot of people find information more quickly by giving them one spot they can always get to to direct them where to go next. The addition of the card and carousel macros is also great to see because it allows us to make pages more visually interesting. We're no longer stuck with the standard editing options and we don't have to go get an add-on if we don't want to. So I'm curious to see what you do with the company hub. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Or if you want to learn more about this topic or anything else, please let me know there too. And of course, if you liked it, please hit that little like button, hit subscribe. It really helps me out. And I really appreciate you taking time to learn with me here. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in another one of these again soon. Mm -hmm.